Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. All right, today we're going to talk about programs in Bash and if they fail during a pipeline, what we can do about it, how we can find out about it, how we can deal with it. Here we go. So let's take a look at this. Let's say we have a really simple pipeline of commands. We echo high, we do something like pipe it to cat and we'll say read a file called foo and standard in and then we'll, I don't know, pipe it to head. Here we go. Three different commands. We have echo, we have cat and we have head. We run it. What do we get? We get an error from cat and then it also prints the word hi and then we echo dollar question mark and we can see that it returned successfully. It's kind of weird, isn't it? We see an error in there, but we return successfully. Now we can see the errors from cat because cat prints itself, but if we had a more complex pipeline or if we were in a script, what can we do about this? How can we detect this error? Why would we want to move forward even though something broke? Well, it turns out there's a really cool variable for us to use and it's called pipe status. So let's rerun this command. And now we have this array we can access. So we can look at pipe status We'll do star, which will print every item from the array. And if we run this, what do we get? We get zero, one, zero. So there were three commands, echo, cat, head, zero, one, zero. Echo returned zero, cat returned one, head returned zero. So as we can see right here, there's our problem. Cat was the one that failed us here. This is super useful. This is something you can check if you're writing a program. Say you have a pipeline of like five different commands, but you only care if maybe the first one fails or the last one fails. You get the last one for free. That'll be dollar question mark, but anything else in the pipeline will fail. There are things you can set. There's options like pipe fail and stuff, but maybe you're okay with one thing failing. Maybe you have seven things in a pipeline and you're like, you know what? Programs number two and four can fail, but I really want to check program number three. This is where pipe status is useful. It's uh, super useful. Say you have something crazy. It's just a contrived example. You wouldn't really have something like this. Please don't write a program like this. But you could have something like gnarly like this. And look, it exits successfully. But then if I run this, you can see true exited zero. And then one maps up to false here. Zero, true, true. And then false up here. So it maps. It makes sense. These are the exit codes. And in fact, they're so much the exit codes. You could manually check this yourself if you didn't believe me. You could say like exit four, pipe two, exit five. I'm putting these in subshells so they won't actually exit my current shell. And let's uh, let's put an exit zero here so it exits cleanly. So as you can see, we ran this command. Nothing seemed to happen. We run this, and we can see the return codes: four, five. 100 and zero. So this is the pipe status variable, super useful, definitely useful in scripts, um, not so much an interactive use, but I definitely use this in scripts. So there you go, there's pipe status in Bash.